TCA overdose. Tricyclic antidepressants, TCAs, are a class of drugs used to treat depression, chronic pain, and other neuropsychiatric disorders. TCA overdose can lead to severe toxicity and even death. In this lecture, we will discuss the clinical and ECG features of TCA overdose, as well as its management. Clinical features of TCA overdose. TCAs are rapidly absorbed in the gastrointestinal tract. Toxic effects are produced by blockade at muscarinic, histamine, and alpha-1 adrenergic receptors. Symptoms and signs of TCA overdose usually occur within one to two hours, which include sedation and coma, seizures, hypotension, tachycardia, wide complex dysrhythmias, and anticholinergic syndrome, such as tachycardia, mydriasis, and dry mouth. ECG features of TCA overdose. ECG is a vital tool in the prompt diagnosis of poisoning with sodium channel blocking medications such as TCA, which cause CNS and cardiovascular toxicity and overdose in the form of seizures and ventricular dysrhythmias. The most common ECG features of TCA overdose include 1. Intraventricular conduction delay. QRS greater than 100 milliseconds in lead 2. 2. Terminal R wave greater than 3 mm in AVR or RS ratio greater than 0.7 in AVR. 3. Sinus tachycardia secondary to muscarinic receptor blockade. 4. Terminal right axis deviation of the QRS complex, which manifests as a dominant R prime wave in AVR due to the right sided intraventricular conducting system being more susceptible to the effects of sodium channel blockade. ECG is crucial in the prompt diagnosis of TCA poisoning. The four main ECG features of TCA overdose are 1. Wide QRS complex greater than 100 milliseconds. 2. Terminal R wave greater than 3 mm in AVR. 3. Sinus tachycardia. 4. Dominant R prime wave in AVR. The degree of QRS widening on ECG is correlated with adverse events. QRS greater than 100 milliseconds is predictive of seizures. QRS greater than 160 milliseconds is predictive of ventricular arrhythmias, such as ventricular tachycardia. Management of TCA overdose. Overdose of TCA greater than 10 mg per kilogram with signs of ECG changes requires resuscitative management. Secure intravenous access, administer oxygen, and attach monitoring equipment. Patients need to be managed in a monitored area equipped for airway management. Administer antidote, that is, intravenous sodium bicarbonate. Intubate as soon as possible if indicated, and hyperventilate to maintain a pH of 750 to 755. Once the airway is secure, place a nasogastric tube and give 50 grams of activated charcoal. Treat seizures with intravenous benzodiazepines, such as midazolam. Treat hypotension with a crystalloid boluses or norepinephrine infusion. If arrhythmias occur, the first step is to give more sodium bicarbonate. Lidocaine, 1.5 mg per kilogram intravenous, is a third-line agent after bicarbonate and hyperventilation once pH is greater than 7.5. Avoid Class 1 A antiarrhythmic procainamide and Class 1 C antiarrhythmic flacainide, beta blockers, and amiodarone as they may worsen hypotension and conduction abnormalities. Admit the patient to the intensive care unit for ongoing management. Take-home message. TCA overdose can lead to severe toxicity and even death. The best markers for suspected overdose are a history of depression, suicidality, and overdose with a sudden deterioration in mental status and vital signs. Clinical and ECG features of TCA overdose include sedation, seizures, hypotension, tachycardia, wide complex dysrhythmias, and anticholinergic syndrome. ECG is vital in the prompt diagnosis of TCA overdose. Management of significant TCA overdose requires resuscitative management, including IV sodium bicarbonate, intubation and hyperventilation, and treatment of seizures and hypotension. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.